Hello again everybody and welcome to another edition of On The Range and today I'm in the P-51 Mustang but I'm going to cover a general DCS world topic. This video is going to supersede one I did a while back on custom kneeboards in DCS world because this time I'm going to use a program called Kneeboard Builder. It's by Alaskan Grizzly and it's available on the DCS world forums to convert a PDF file into a format that's usable as a kneeboard and also use the program to manage the kneeboards so I can have different kneeboard combinations for different aircraft. But let me go ahead and go into the program. I'll show you a little bit about how to install it, how to use it, and more importantly, where to go to get it. So I'll be right back. And your first stop is going to be the Eagle Dynamics Forum under the Mods and Apps subforum. And you're looking for the Kneeboard Builder. It's by Alaskan Grizzly. And I'll have a link to it down in the video description below. And I'll probably have like a little pop-up you can click on right about now. And if you go there, all the installation instructions, the listing of the current features and planned features, and troubleshooting instructions are included in this forum post. So this is your first stop. Be sure to read all this stuff. Things are probably going to change at some point after I record this, but I'll go through the basics and hit the highlights in this video anyway. So you want to come down to the bottom of the post to find the download links. And it requires three things to be on your computer. The first is GhostScript 64-bit. All this program is there to do is convert the PDF file to a PNG file. You don't necessarily have to install this if you don't want to. You also need the .NET Framework 4.5. Chances are this is already on your computer. If not, just click on the link and it'll take you right to the download. And of course you need the Kneeboard Builder software itself. It just comes in a zip file, you download it. I just happen to have it here on my desktop right now. and. Inside the folder, you'll see the Kneeboard Builder executable file. You'll run this, and that's what's going to start the program. If you run into trouble, like uh, random people have, I ran, I ran into a little bit of trouble myself getting this to run, you might try running it as an administrator, or if you were running it as an administrator and it didn't work, you might try not running it as an administrator. But troubleshooting instructions are going to be in that forum post. So let me go ahead and open up the program, and we'll have a quick look at it. Now the first thing I would recommend doing once you do install it and open it up is go to Options and Preferences and double check your DCS World install directory is correct. If you have the Steam version of DCS World you might need to change this just to point it at the, the base DCS World folder. But yeah, double check that. In my case it was already set up correctly. And now you just have the interface to work with. So what I'm going to do is import this. It's a PDF file from the 476 Virtual Fighter Group. It's a P-51 flight crew checklist put together by Snoopy. So all that I have to do is drag it over, and in my case it's not quite working. Chances are that will work on yours. There's just something weird about my configuration here, but no big deal. I can go to manually add, select the checklist, and then this comes up. So what I'm going to do here is take the checklist and have the program convert it from PDF to PNG and I need to tell it what aircraft it's going to be associated with and it's going to be the P-51D and then I'm going to give it a group name so I'm just going to call this checklist and if the group already exists I can have it create a new group merge with an existing group or replace it so all I really need to do is just select the, the aircraft and give it a name I'm going to check the box and begin import now it's going to convert that PDF into PNG and it's set it up into a group. So the PNG files are there set up, but now I need to assign that group to the P-51 kneeboard. And to do that, I come over to create custom kneeboard. I'm going to select the P-51. I have the group that I just created right here. I select it, add it to my custom kneeboard, and then I'm going to say build custom kneeboard for, for the P-51D. That just took all those files, <laughs> uh, put them into the right place, so that now when I fly the P-51, I'm going to have this checklist display there on my kneeboard, just like you saw during the first part of the video. And you can have more than one group put together. For example, if I wanted to bring in the DCS P-51D flight manual, I would just go back over to import PDF. I'll go to manual, I'll add it manually. I'll select the flight manual. And again, uh, select the aircraft you want it to be associated with, in this case P-51 enter a name for those files, what group they're going to be assigned to. In this case, I'll put flight manual. And I check the box, I begin the import, and then it's going to bring those over in its own group. So then I can go back to create custom kneeboard. I go to the P51 again. Now I have both of those groups available. 
So if I wanted to replace the custom kneeboard with the flight manual, I could come down here and clear the kneeboard. That's going to remove the checklist that I just put in there. And then I can just add the flight manual and make that my kneeboard. Or if I wanted both the checklist and the flight manual, I could then check the checklist as well, bring them both over, and then build custom kneeboard. And it's going to put everything exactly where it needs to be and have both of them available in the kneeboard. And if I don't want to bring everything in a particular PDF file over, I could select the group that I just created. I can go to modify, and then I have this interface where I can select the pages that I want to delete. So I just select the part of it that I don't want. I'll go to remove checked. It'll ask me if I want to. Yeah, of course I did. And there you go. You can delete certain parts of a, a large PDF file if you only want just a certain section of it on your kneeboard. Now one other thing that it does while I'm here is it gives you the option to create what's called a, a dynamic kneeboard. So I'll add this real quick. And the dynamic kneeboard is going to read data from the mission file as DCS loads and give you some additional information on the kneeboard when it comes to mission description, flights, frequency, navigate information, weather. So to get the dynamic kneeboard, you just bring it on over into the custom kneeboard area, build custom kneeboard for general DCS, and now this kneeboard, the dynamic one, is going to be there for all aircraft whenever you fire it up. Now one other thing that this can do, if I come up here to options and kneeboard settings, I can change the size and position of the kneeboard. So if I come into this screen, once it opens up, I come down here to the kneeboard. Now I can click and drag it around to anywhere that I want so that when I fire up DCS and bring up the kneeboard, I can have it right there in the center. I can have it bottom left or wherever I want it on the screen. This is extremely neat. And especially for the Oculus Rift, what I'm going to do is put the kneeboard right there in the middle so that I'll be able to read checklists and read information in the Oculus Rift. That's a capability I've been really waiting a long time to, a long time to have. And, and it's yet another thing that this program does for us. And you can also adjust the size up here. So that's basically how it works. You can do this for any aircraft and only the things that you have associated with that aircraft are going to show up when you fly that aircraft. So it gives you a whole lot of options, a whole lot of flexibility. I don't know why it took me so long to find this, but it's just a really, really neat tool and the kind of thing that just makes things so much easier than the way that I was doing it before. So there it is, go check it out. The link is in the description. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.